battle the Shanti Regional National Service scheme director Alex Opokumens at least for the next two months will not operate from here according to a committee's report. He was cited for wrongdoing after a clash between him and a nurse at the Menshia Government Hospital. A very bizarre moment. That verbal abuse landed him in trouble. Until Alex Opokumensa is sacked. If he is not sacked, nobody. And the addition is that if by Tuesday or by the end, close of day Monday, if he is not sacked, the whole Ashanti region is joining. So it means the morning shift of Tuesday, no nurse or midwife in Ashanti region will also go to work in any hospital in Ashanti region. Even to escalate events, nurses and midwives working in that particular facility decided to halt all operations. Then there was a two-day suspension of work. <laughs> now, the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association, I'm talking about the regional body, was very resolute that until the man is sacked, they were not ready to go back to work. And the government, the Public Service Commission, and the National Service Scheme to choose between us and Alex Opoku Mensa, who decided to walk to a hospital to insult a nurse and a whole profession. So you should sack him. That's why we are starting gradual. But after some dialogue, they decided to call off their strike, but on condition that Alex Opoku Mensa is sacked from office. But then again, the regional chairman of the Ghana Register Nurses and Midwives Association had said they've had a hint that the man is likely to be transferred. And if that happened, then they will not hesitate to reactivate industrial action. So the person admits he's in the tape, he's the one who uttered those words. And so sack him immediately. What are you waiting for? To suspend and uh, investigate this for one whole month so that the, the Ghanaian normal case, the press will leave us and the, the matter will die and the case die. And then maybe they transfer him to Sunyan as we heard and bring the Sunyan one to Asante and then he's working because he's powerful in government. So with this particular development, will they still maintain their earlier position of reactivating their industrial action or dialogue will at least suffice and maybe subdue anger? William Evans Sinkum. TV3 News, Kumasi.